so let's get started with this uh, I guess tutorial on Padlet um, okay uh, let's get started on this side if you click here on recent this is where all your recent Padlet Padlets will come up these are all the ones that you have made which the reasons and the made ones are pretty much the same for me because right now I've kind of been going into all of them um, these are the ones that have been shared with you um, right here are the ones that you have liked so you have the ability to go like padlets um, this is a folder that I created so this is week one I'm still editing it this one's gonna go away this one's gonna go away and this one's going to go away because I ended up putting everything on one padlet these are ones that you have archived and then this is where you create uh, new folders if you want to create a new padlet oopsie why did you okay if you want to create a new padlet you would go here make a new padlet if you want to join uh, somebody else's padlet you would go here and this is just kind of like a gallery of the different padlets that there are out there right here we're going to click on make padlet and then it gives you the options of how you want your padlet so if you want it wall uh, wall type of padlet then everything's just going to kind of stack in order you can either set it to stack to where the new posts are first or they just keep stacking on the back and on the back um, canvas you have the ability to move your your small windows here post them wherever on the padlet so you can click on the padlet I mean on the window and just post it different ways um, stream it's just kind of like I guess kind of like Facebook so everything will kind of just stack on each other streamline content is an easy way to read top to bottom um, the gri the grid arranges content in content in rows and the shelf this is what I'm using for uh, at home learning because I use each subject um, in a row and um, communicate in the, like a chat and then this is a map um, so you can add content maybe this would be awesome for like social studies or something like that and this one also for social studies as well but for the sake of this video we are going to use this one because I okay no we'll use the wall let me go ahead and exit out of this okay so we are using the wall just so that you guys can see uh, over here um, this is where you can title your padlet so your Padlet, we're just going to call it the stunning wall. And then you can ha add a description. So if this is like your math, so let's go ahead and do math. In this, this Padlet, you, Padlet, in this Padlet, you will learn math. Yay. Okay. You can also choose an icon for your Padlet. Um, we'll just choose the star. And then the icon would be up here. This is the, once you're done uh, creating the Padlet, you j this is where you can share your Padlet. Copy to clipboard and then you just share it either through email, through text message. Um, Padlet does have an app, so you can download the app and log in and you, you'll be able to access the same things that you can on the computer on the app. If you want to change the wallpaper, you have solid colors, you have gradients, you have textures, um, you have pictures, and you can also add your own. So you can upload your own picture. Um, for the sake of this Padlet, we are going to use a wall because it is a wall. Okay? So you can also change the scheme. So say, if I want my little my small windows to be white or if I want my small windows to be black they will come come out like this or like this for the sake of this one we're going to keep the white one you can change the font um, and then here is kind of just uh, it deals with the posting of, of who can post and stuff like that so display author's name so that's if they have an account, they can, they don't need an account to be able to post on it. As long as they have the link, they'll be able to post on it. So you don't have to have an account. Um, display author's name. So yeah, 
I want to display the author's name. Um, this is where I'm talking about if you want your new post to come up first or to come up to come up last. Um, I want them to come up last. Comments. Uh, do you want to allow viewers to comment? Yes. Um, and then you can also allow them to react. I always just click the love button or the heart. And then require approval and then filter profanity. I put those especially for the sake of using it at for at home learning. I want to make sure that we are safe here. Um, okay, so then basically that is it. You click next and then you click back and close. Now you can begin posting. If you scroll down here and you click it, it'll um, it'll add a window to your to your wall. So then here you can just put the title would be problem one, right? Here you can type the problem. I have 34 cookies. I ate cookies. I ate four. How many cookies do I have left? Okay, so you can also so if you just want it to be that way, you post it, you click out of it, right? And then they'll be able to comment with their answer here. You can also, uh, this is just if you want to edit it again. And then if you go here to the three little dots, you can change the color of the window, of the small little window or post. Mm. You can also, so then if you add another one, sorry, getting ahead of myself. They will just kind of start um, stacking sample and this is because it is a wall so this one blue right and then if you add another one they will just continue to stack on in that way so you can also on the posts you can title it write something and then you can also upload pictures so if I wanted to upload this one I can upload that picture title it and then maybe give them some instructions on it. I can also change the color of it. Um, you can also add links. So for example, if I want to go on YouTube and add a link about fitness or something, right? I can copy. Where's my Padlet? Click the link and then paste the link, click save, and then it will be on there. Sorry, that's just the first one that came out. Um, okay, and then you can title it as well and then type something. And you can, once again, change the color of your post. Um, you can also attach a website or you can add a picture of your self or of something. So if you want to take it, if you're doing it on your phone, especially you could take a picture and just upload it. So if I click picture here, I don't know if it's going to let me access my picture, but you can click, you can add a picture. If you scroll, scroll over here, you can, here are the same links that you have here, upload link, Google snap take a picture you can also capture a video voice um, screen you can record your screen uh, you can draw this is a pretty awesome um, tool you can draw save hopefully it doesn't take that long to save if not i'm going to have to cancel it there we go so then your drawing will come up on there and like again it, it is stacking um, and then you can, like I said, they they will just continue to stack. So um, you can link other Padlets as well. So and then if you want to delete one, you just hover over it and you click the little trash can. It's going to ask you, and yes, boom. And the same way with that. Now, if you are working on the Padlet and you decide, oh man, I really don't want it. Uh, wall like you can come over here to the three little dots that are here 
and you can go to change format then it will give you okay so if you didn't want the wall and you want more canvas style so then it will change your posts to canvas style the canvas style again lets you post them wherever you want if you don't want them canvas style you go again here on the um, the three dots change format say you want shelf like it's going to put them all in one row um, for the shelf you can title the column you can put math sorry math save if you add another column this one will be workout save so then you can start moving them around that one belongs to math the sample one we're gonna put here on this on this column it's a little tricky to move them to the columns but I think it kind of has to light up a little bit there we go there we go so you see oh this one will stay over here and then the workout one would come right here there we go so then that way you can this is the, what I'm using and then if you want to create a column for science that is not how you spell science science save then one for reading save and so forth and so on you just go ahead and click here the same concept applies to 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 these windows you want to add one here it applies here as well everything that I showed you you can add here delete um, go away please you also have and yeah like I said you can just um, do different formats you can change it um, but that's pretty much it uh, the students or because I'm using it for at home learning but anybody once you share the link so you click here if, once you're done with it and you want to share you can click on share on the top uh, right and then you put copy link and then you share it with everybody with whoever you want to share it now I did want to show you that if you if you go ahead and click here share you can change the privacy settings so if you go to, to privacy settings right now anybody it's on it's on can write so that means that um, they can view and they can add posts they cannot edit and approve other posts so so they can only add and um, and view the posts but they cannot edit um, if you put read if you only put read um, then they will they can view the posts but they cannot add any posts they can however like they can't comment or anything on that they can only just read so I always just keep it on can write and then can edit obviously that means that anybody can post anybody can edit anybody can do anything to the post that you have done but I leave it on can write so that um, also here private keep the padlet hidden from the public even if someone manages to get to it they should not be able to access it so that's if you want it to keep it only to yourself this one will require a password and then this one is secret keep the padlet hidden from the public if I choose to share it with somebody they should be able to access it so this is the one that I have because I'm sharing the link those are the only people that can access the padlet and then this is just keeping it public so um, I keep it on can write then I keep click back and close that way anybody is able to add posts but they cannot do anything to mine those stay where they are so they can't move them around they can simply just boom add posts or comment on mine um, and then if I when I want to share it I just click share copy to clipboard and then just share through email or share through um, through text message that's how I've been doing it you also have the option to get um, a QR code um, or embedded in a blog or a website so um, yeah that's pretty much it you can share it on Facebook all of that good stuff um, and you also have the ability to export it but you can save it as an image save it as a PDF all of that good stuff 
Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Leave some comments if you have any questions about it. Okay, bye-bye.